Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make animated textures in Roblox Studio so you can do stuff like this where you can have moving textures in your Roblox game which can be used to make something like gun camos in games like Call of Duty. Uh, you know, if you have an FPS game, you can make gun textures that are animated. Um, so see, we have like a lava one and whatever you guys want, you can make it using uh, this code and it will make your texture animated. So let's get right into it. So first, let's start off by animating just a part and we can move on to gun skins in a little bit. Now, I am going to be using textures from this texture pack right here, or if you guys already have your own textures, you can do that as well. But where I got these is in the toolbox. Um, I, oh, can you guys see this? Okay, so I typed in textures in the toolbox and it's this one right down here this one by um flame dev um there's a lots of other materials materials you can also do but i chose this one by flame dev see there it is right there um so i'm going to be using textures from this pack right here so to start off i need to find a texture whichever one you guys want to use like there's this one which i uh, had at the beginning of the video that's over there um there's also this one I'm just going to choose a random one. So I'm just going to choose this one because this one looks pretty good. And what you want to do is go to that part and get your textures. You need textures on all sides of your parts, um, not just on one side. So I'm going to copy these and transfer it over to this part right here. We just have to change some properties, but we need textures on all sides. So, you know, the texture will actually be on all sides of the part. And so it actually just fixed this so it works. We are going to change this color to like an orange, bright orange. And I'm going to set the material to neon, which will give it uh, the, the magma lava looking feel. So now we can get into making this animated. So the animating part of it is done in a script. So insert a script. And I'm going to call this uh, like uh, animating, probably just... Uh, Texture, okay, animate. I'm not very good at naming stuff. We're just gonna call it animate. So in here, we're going to get rid of hello world and we're gonna need some uh, services and variables. We are also gonna be needing some utils. So services, to make this actually move, we're gonna be using tween service. So we need to get the tween service, game get service, tween service. Our variables, we need to get our gun, or it's not our gun just yet, it's our objects, but I'm just going to say part is equal to script.parent because um, our, our script is in the part and script.parent is the part. So, and then we are going to go down to our utils and we can set the speed of this. So speed equals to, I'm just going to have this set to like 25. Um, this setting is a little weird. I'll get in that in um, when we finish the rest of the script. But this setting is weird. But uh, you guys will see. Now under this, we need to get tween info. So I'm going to call this info, tween info dot new. We need to set the amount of time this will be, which will be just the speed. Enum dot easing style dot linear. Enum dot easing direction dot out. Now we're going to put negative one for this. Because in this spot, this is where the repeat count is. If you guys didn't know, if you set the repeat count to negative one, the tween basically lasts forever. It'll never end. So we're gonna set a comma after that and we're going to say false. So we don't want it to reverse and zero. So we have our services, variables and utilities or utils. So now what we are going to do is loop through every child of our part. So for underscore comma texture, we're gonna call it texture in part get descendants do i'm saying get descendants because your texture might be in a folder or in who knows what in your part um, but we're going to say get descendants to be sure instead of get children you can change that if you want um we're gonna then going to say if texture is a texture and if it is then this will run and then we're going to call this tween one or just tween we're going to tween it so tween service create on the texture we need to get our info 
and then let me make sure I'm actually doing this right. Uh, in the texture, there's offset studs. Okay, we're going to call this offset studs u. We're going to set that equal to 50. And then what we can do with this tween is just copy it, put it down here, and call this tween 2. And then for the offset studs, we're going to call this offset studs v. Because in the texture, we are changing offset studs. All right. And then after this, we're going to say tween play and tween 2 play that so that both of these will run. So if you guys don't actually know what's going on in this script, this line is we're getting every descendant in our part. If you don't know what descendants are, it's everything in the part, but that is a child. We are putting descendants, and what descendants are, are objects inside of the children. So this script it is a, is a child of the part, and a descendant of this part would be something in the script. So that's what descendants are and then this line we're checking if the descendant is a texture and if it is then we're going to tween it and we're going to change the offset studs u and v which will make it so it looks like it's moving and then finally we are just tweening it um you know just how tweening services head into your game press run and our texture is now animating it's moving um now on to the setting going to change this if we change this one speed to one you will see it makes it faster so this is like a weird setting um, that we have but the lower the number you know the faster it is because what we are saying is if the speed is equal to one it's gonna be faster but the bigger the number the slower the speed will be so say we set this to 250 and we play it it's pretty slow see as as you can see here uh, it's uh, pretty slow but this setting is a little bit weird keep that in mind that the higher the number the um, it's not that the higher the number the faster it's lower the number the faster so keep that in mind so we can move on to our gun skins like we were doing here so if you want to make a gun skin you can do that um, so I already have like an AK here and I'm gonna show you guys how I set this up so let me um, grab my AK here. I'm going to make another one and put it over here. Okay. Now I'm just going to get rid of the texture because I'm going to find a new one. Alright. Um, so I'm going to look through them and maybe see what will look good. I'm not exactly sure. I might uh, look through some other packs. But we are going to try this like digital techie looking one. So select all the textures. Copy it. Control C, head over to our AK, and paste it. It does look a little weird, but that is because I'm just gonna like set this to black for right now. But it looks really weird because we have to change the studs per tile U and V. See, that's a setting down here. Um, so if we lower that, it'll make it look better and it'll make it more in frame to what we have on the gun. So, so if we lower it, we can. Uh, see it better you know if you set it to one then you can like really see it see there but it's however you guys want to do it i'm going to set it to probably like a three because i think uh, that that just looks good it's like a tech thing um i don't know if i'd change anything else really i think i'll just keep it on black but um you don't really have to do anything just put this same script in there uh, run the game and your texture is moving on your gun so you can have like animating gun skins uh, If you guys want to know where I use these uh, textures, I got this sparkle one uh, It was I just seen it right here uh, that red one with the, this design on it was uh, I used this one here in the corner and This uh, like other lava one. I use this like fantasy looking texture right here so I'm going to create one more example for you guys. I'm going to get this like tiger. I'm going to make this like tiger thing. And I'm going to get my gun over here. So I'm basically, oh, I, I was in still in the, the run mode. I don't know if I copied it. But I'm just going to try it again. So copy it. 
okay and over my gun or whatever part if you guys are doing this from scratch you just copy it put it into your parts oh I didn't copy it that's weird you know Roblox copying is like really bad sometimes uh, sometimes it copies it so you like have to press it multiple times it's weird but um, insert it into whatever you are using again on my gun it looks weird but if I just like you know if I set it into a part it would look normal um, but we can change this by setting the studs so we're gonna lower it to like I'm gonna try four it looks okay I don't really know if it gets the point across maybe two two looks good that gets the point across yeah um, so then to actually I think these colors are flipped it's like I would have to change this to an orange I'm pretty sure set this back to smooth plastic and then we have to change these back to black there we go and again just change your settings how you want it in here like the speed or whatnot run the game and uh, it still works you have the animating skin and yeah guys that was today's video if you guys did learn something from this video or you guys just enjoyed this video please hit the like button and the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next video peace